What is up, everybody? This is Night Shift, and I'm back with week nine of my UMass Dynasty, and uh, we are pretty much getting down to it with the recruiting. As you can see, a bunch of soft commits, and I think I'm just going to make this real quick. Um, obviously, you can see I moved up to number one on the tackle, and uh, as I scout these tackles, everybody seems to be getting better, which is a nice, pleasant surprise. So I got a uh, couple, couple of tackles left to do. There's another plus six. Actually, that's kind of awesome. Um, and one more scouting. There you go. All oh, that plus six again. It don't get better than that. We just uh, upgraded huge those guys. And this guy lost a little bit of strength, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to make this one quick, guys, because as you can see, I'm in first on everybody, and I got a bunch of soft commits. So I'm not going to sit here and just talk and talk and talk while, uh, while we just get through this. So, um,. Stay tuned for the highlights after this. At this point, we're just getting through uh, spending just some time on these guys. It really doesn't matter what uh, what you say at this point. Everybody's all but signed, with the exception of maybe one guy who I will probably just spend the most amount of time on. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So stay tuned for the highlights right after this. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth and we're also joined by our sideline reporter Aaron Andrews. Today's college football action is brought to you by Spark who reminds you that what you can measure you can improve. We've got the Warhawks and the Minutemen. Okay guys, here we go with the action. Start picking it up in the middle of the third quarter and on the third down I'm going to get sacked and have to punt it away. Um, ensuing drive, third down for them. And their quarterback is just going to take off and scramble with it. Pick up a first down. I hate when that happens. Alright. There's another big play for them. And it doesn't look good very early. These guys are like 0-7. And, 7 and uh, playing like they're Alabama. So we uh, end up holding them to a field goal here on this drive. Which uh, I was pretty, pretty happy with after 7 plays, 45 yards. Alright. Alright, we're going to try to go deep here on third down and get sacked again. Not good. Alright, so we'll turn it back over to them, see what they can do with it. Uh, get a nice little stop there on third down, force the punt, and look at this punt. He downs it at the one. A couple of plays later, we get a nice completion right here. Oh, there's a flag on the play. And look at this. Look at this. This is going to be like a 90 yard play, but of course, holding on the offense. Alright, so we're going to have to try this again. Third and three. Why not try the same play? See what happens. And it does not quite work out the same way, so I would end up getting nothing out of that. I'd punt it. Obviously not a very good one. And uh, that would set them up for this field goal attempt and he's short so that'll work all right now it's we got 36 seconds to go I'm gonna try to run it out here for the end of the half but I break a big play here on third and 16 and now I think I got a shot so why not give it a shot and check this out he gets behind the coverage and we're gonna take a 7-3 lead into halftime that was nice always like when they bust the coverage all right, picking it up, beginning of the third quarter. And with the 7-3 lead, they're going to go deep on third down, but no. Good coverage. All right. The uh, ensuing drive right here. You get a nice little play action. And a nice play out of Dowling right here. Pick up a huge chunk of yards. A couple of plays later, we're on it's third and 19 at this point. And... 
aside from the one play, we haven't really been able to get anything going, and it's no different here on this drive. All right, the ensuing drive coming up. We get a nice little fumble right there to get us the ball back because they were driving again. All right, we got third and one, beginning of the fourth quarter. This is a huge play, and I'm going to get the first down barely, which is going to help out a lot. A couple of plays later, we got about two and a half minutes to go. Third and nine. It's going to be a huge play in this game, and didn't make it. All right, so I'd turn it over uh, with the punt, and now we've gotten them to third and 16. And if we can get a stop here, which we do, now they're going to have to go for it on fourth down. This is basically their last gasp. See what happens. Oh, he completes it, but it's short. All right, all we have to do is get a first down, and this one's over. And look at that. He's wide open, another busted coverage, and a touchdown. All right, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. 14-3 is your final. So let's take a look at some stats real quick. All right, we have, look at that game, 6 of 7, 117 and 2 touchdowns. Can't ask any more out of him. 16 for 59, that'll work. Look at Michael, 3 catches, 80 yards, 2 touchdowns. Finally, he shows up. Offensive line doesn't get to do much. And we had a pretty nice defensive game, especially out of Thompson. He had uh, 2 sacks. All right, guys. Uh, catch us next week when we play NIU, and uh, we'll catch you later. Peace.